about this for our audience. And um, um, you have an incentive coming from Shizuoka Prefecture to work this problem of uh, renewable energy. And why is that? W what's the incentive that you have? Uh, there are lots of incentives, but one of the most important ones is um, we have a nuclear uh, uh, reactor plants in Shizuoka Prefecture. Okay. And what, you know what happened to Fukushima. I saw Fukushima. Uh, and so is your nuclear reactor, what is the name of it? What, what do you call uh, it? It's Hamaoka. 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 Okay. Uh, is it shut down? It was ordered, or say it was requested by the Prime Minister uh, to shut down. Uh, it was uh, last year, May. He ordered the 6th of May, and then uh, Chubu Electric Power Company had difficulty whether okay. they shut down uh, the moving uh, reactors, but they finally accepted to shut down all the five reactors. And uh, the 14th of May, they shut down all the reactors. And the reason why uh, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. at that time I think Mr. Kang, uh, ordered, Minister. yes. Uh, only my prefectures, uh, nuclear powers, plants were ordered to shut down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, there are 50, more than 50 nuclear plants in Japan. Okay, and you have five? We have uh, five. Five, and all five ordered to shut down? That's right. Only ours. Do you know why? Of course. This is because our prefecture is facing the possible uh, earthquake. It's called uh, uh, Pacific, uh, uh, we, we call it Tokai earthquake. Tokai, so yeah, Tokai is uh, East Oceans. Okay, so that means that, that the Shizuoka prefecture mm. is in the, how can we say this? It's in the, the, the target zone for another earthquake. That's Indeed, what they yes. think. Uh, in 1978, there was a theory uh, this Tokai earthquake will take place at any time. And the Mr. Kang, the Prime Minister, uh, explained within the following 30 years, 87%, uh, he said 87% uh, the possibility of uh, taking place of this uh, well, earthquake. I if he do you think he consulted any odds makers in Las Vegas for the 87%? <laughs> <or? laughs> Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Uh, so uh, nobody knows. Okay. Yes, you can ask uh, the gods of uh, oceans. But in any case, uh, that is what he said. And then so you lost all five nuclear reactors? Yes, and uh, uh, that is uh, one of the most important uh, energy sources, yes. And uh, so we have to uh, change uh, from the nuclear plant to the other uh, sources of energy. Wait, before we get into this, this yeah. change, wh what has that done to the availability of power in Shizuoka Prefecture? You, you lose five nuclear power plants. Mm -hmm. wh wh what do you have left? But in fact, uh, the company which uh, shut down the nuclear plant covering not only uh, Shizuoka Prefecture, but other, say, about 10 prefectures. Uh, we have uh, uh, 10 electric power companies. And uh, Okinawa uh, Electric Power Company doesn't have any uh, nuclear plant. But the remaining uh, nine companies have the nuclear plants. And our is called um, uh, Chubu Electric Power Company uh, have the only one uh, nuclear power plant in our prefecture. And uh, which uh, comprises 10% of the total energy which they produce for these uh, uh, big uh, uh, central area of Japan. Okay. Uh, one of them is uh, Shizuoka. Therefore, uh, uh, even if we lose nuclear plant, uh, the remaining 90% were coming from the other uh, sources such as uh, hydrogens or uh, you know uh, fuels okay. and uh, uh, wind and others. But uh, still, 10 percent. 10 percent is a lot. A lot. But in fact, uh, in average, 35 uh, percent of the Japanese uh, energy was depending upon nuclear uh, plants. And uh, for instance, in Kyushu, uh, which is the uh, third biggest uh, uh, island in Japan, mm. uh, 
Kyushu Electric Power Company depends upon uh, nuclear power about uh, 50 to 50, 50, 40 to 50 percent. Shikoku, it's the smallest uh, uh, island in Japan, uh, the fourth biggest, uh, which 50 percent uh, of the energy is coming from nuclear, yeah, uh, nuclear plants. So each area uh, has a, uh, have a differences uh, in terms of the dependence on this nuclear plant. But so luckily enough, that. luckily enough, we have only 10 percent. 10 percent drop. You drop. lost five nuclear power plants, but you have a 10 percent drop 10%, in power. Yes. So that 10 percent gives uh, you, as the leader of Shizuoka Prefecture, yes. tremendous incentive to develop other alternative forms of energy. Doesn't Indeed. It? Yeah. For, therefore, when I heard the proposal from uh, Governor uh, Abba Crombie, uh, the common theme is uh, renewable uh, okay. uh, clean energies. Oh, okay. I would like to come at any cost. Yes. So I came without any sleep. <laughs> well, I guess I guess what this all means is that, that I, 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 I night flight. Therefore, I didn't sleep really. <laughs> during the during the meeting, my brain is just like this. <laughs> really? Yes. But because of the excitement of the presentations of the uh, Mr. Crombie and other uh, uh, oh, yeah, Lieutenant uh, Brian Schatz, uh, he right. he made a very good presentation of the uh, energy. Uh, programs, and uh, I was very impressed. So that means that this, you know, what we are seeing here is the, the potential for a fantastic bridge being built from, from Hawaii to Shizuoka Prefecture, mm -hmm. and that the possibility of all kinds of partnerships and strategic work mm -hmm. on renewable energy with Hawaii's renewable energy business and uh, Japanese uh, industry interested in developing renewable technology, yes, something indeed. like that. Yes, indeed. Yes, so therefore, that's, that's exciting. the bright future, yeah. and that is something, a formidable task, uh, uh, which, you see, I just said it was shut down, but how to uh, dispose the five nuclear plants is a formidable task. Oh, yes. yes. Well, well, let me ask you something. Is there, I mean, you, you look at those five nuclear plants and you look at the, the prospect, the 87 percent possibility of the, uh, the great Tokai mm -hmm. earthquake coming. I guess what, what that means is the, those plants are permanently gone. They're never going to be resurrected. Of course, the uh, Tube Electric Power Company would like to reopen uh, after they prepared for the safety uh, uh, the safety things. Mm. Uh, but I think it is very hard uh, because uh, the earthquake thing is uh, 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 inevitably uh, hit the nuclear plant, which is just beside the coastal line, just beside. Uh, there's a beautiful sun, uh, uh, sun, uh, sun, uh, sun, uh, sun beaches. Sun, sun beaches, you can, you can swim. But the good the fish are available because of the water is warm. Mm. Uh, because uh, when you, uh, when you run the nuclear plant, you need to uh, cool down. The, to, in order to cool down, the uh, sea, sea, sea waters are used, and when it is used, uh, the temperature is uh, going up. Uh, these going, these uh, high temperatures, uh, sea waters are used in the special places, which create the seed for uh, various kinds of fish. As long as the water is clean. Yes. Oh, water is clean. That mm. is uh, okay. Uh, that, in, that is it only for cooling down. Uh, the, uh, the reactors. It is not going into the reactors outside. But in any case, uh, but this uh, this is uh, uh, a serious uh, task for us. How to uh, how to uh, compose uh, decompose uh, the these various power plants? Yes, yeah. indeed, yeah.